Hey everyone. Um, now I know this is a uh, this is um, a bad time, and uh, and by bad time I mean well, it's um, well it's late at night. But I'm just um, I'm just in just doing a little free video for the time being, and well I'm I'm working on another film. But don't worry, my iPad's charging and I'm recording with it. And I want to do a little review about my childhood. And by childhood I mean well a show that I used to watch when I was a kid. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't just love dinosaurs, I also loved making things out of clay and animals. And you're probably wondering what DVD do I have in my hand, but I'm getting to that. Now, when I was a kid, and my friend Marco, um, he told me about Super Sentai and Power Rangers one time, and well, I didn't get to tell him what was my first Power Rangers show I watched when I was a kid. And, he, and you want to know what the answer was? Well, the answer was behind my nose at my school at St. Marcelina Secondary School at the at Courtney Park Library, and the answer was... Yeah. Power Rangers Wild Force. Believe it or not, this was my very first Power Rangers show I ever watched when I was a kid. And, and yes, it came from the Mississauga Public Library and at Courtney Park. And believe it or not, it was the very first show I used to watch. And when I rewatched it, when I got it from the library, I watched every single episode from point A to point B. And I know there's five DVDs in here, but but one of them is in the um, in the DVD player. But don't worry, I, I'll get it out. Now, believe it or not, I still have the. Now, when I was a kid, I still remember the animals running in unison. One of my favorite was the elephant. When, I'm, when I was a kid, I remembered an elephant, a giraffe, a tiger, a, a falcon, and, and well, everything. But believe it or not, there was a lion, there was a lion, a shark, a tiger, a bison, and and an eagle. Those were the five ra the rangers had. Now, the the first Red Ranger had a very interesting backstory. When he was a kid, he was adopted by tribes in Africa. And he was taken care of um, when his parents disappeared. And by disappeared, I mean died by an evil man known as Master Org. Now, he first started as a human being, but he got corrupted by some kind of evil force that turned him into an Org-like being in later on in the series. And, believe it or not, uh, I, I thought I stopped recording. Believe it or not, there are two, there are many, now, the, the Orgs are type of creatures that also came from certain human human things like wheels, trash, um, barbed wire, wedding dresses. I'm not even joking. There is a um, there is a org that that came from a wedding dress, and it is so so weird. I mean, actually, all the orgs are weird. I mean, there's even this guy. He even owns a credit card. What kind of monster owns a credit card? I, I don't even understand. Anyways, um, the but the one thing I enjoy in the show are the Zords. That's right, the Zords, the animal Zords. Now there was now the lion, the eagle, the bison, the shark, and the tiger aren't the only things I like. There's the elephant, the giraffe, the the deer, the two bear brothers, but white, the polar bear and the and the black bear. One one breeds ice and the other breeds fire. I don't know what a black bear has to do with fire, but what, a, but, but whatever. But there's also the there's also the um these well there's the falcon zord and my my favorite is the rhino and armadillo. Now, right and there's also the gorilla zord or or Konga zord if you want to call it I'm referencing King Kong all of a sudden. And speaking of Kong, he throws bananas. I'm not even joking. He throws bananas. And honestly, this is my first. This is the very first Power Rangers DVD I've ever watched. And you know what? After rewatching it, it's still awesome. It's still good to this day. The fight scenes are awesome. The anime, the the CGI is pretty good. I mean, sure, at that time it, it was good. At the um, at from 2000. Oh, this was released in 2013. How I how ironic. But it was released. But it was released on one on one day. Uh, um, well, um, well, 
let's just say it was released when I was a bit when I was younger, like somewhere around two thousand five. Um, I I don't know if it was two thousand five, but when I was a kid, I used to. It, it, it was produced by Shout Factory. If you look very closely, I don't know if my light could pick it up, but it was released in on sh by Shout Factory, in by the same.